Good afternoon, everyone. Happy Wednesday. Let me just make sure that I am live before we get started. Looks like we are good. All right, awesome. Um, so good afternoon and welcome. Uh, my name is Carol Buckaloo and I'm with Inky Bee Stampers. I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. And uh, I have a birthday card here for you today using the Sweet Citrus Bundle. Um, and <laughs> so I, you know, I, I create cards to post on my blog post and uh, my card for today uh, uses the Marigold, Marigold Moments uh, Bundle. And um, it just so happens that I created that card in Oranges and Greens. For my blog post today. Hey Mary, thanks so much for joining. And then I created this card. This will be on my blog post tomorrow. Uh, and it is also in orange and green. Um, hey Faith, thanks for joining. Uh, but it just so happens that orange is like one of my favorite, favorite colors. I'm a fall girl and so I'm always attracted to the earth tones uh, and orange is, is one of those. Uh, so anyway, um, Let's get started here on our card. So I am using the, um, uh, this happens sometimes. It looks like my video is frozen on my end. Let's refresh here and see if that helps. It looks like it helped. Okay, I'm not sure why that happens when I first start. Uh, but anyway, so I'm using the Sweet Citrus Bundle, the stamp set, and the dies, and the hybrid embossing folder. Um, and so when you ordered the, the bundle or the, the, um, the dies and my video keeps cutting out, that is really strange. It keeps going black. Um, so if you guys have issues, let me know. I may need to restart or something. Uh, but anyway, um, you know, when you order the dies, uh, it, it comes kind of grouped together with this hybrid embossing folder and the dies. So, uh, we're going to be using both of those today. And, um, hey mom, thanks for joining. And let me just grab the pack of paper here. I'm also using the Dandy Designs 12 by 12. Um, hey Barbara, thank you for joining. Um, the 12 by 12 designer series paper. And this is a celebration item that you can earn for free uh, during celebration with a $100 order. Um, and this is, I mean, an absolute huge, huge pack of paper and gorgeous prints, um, pretty much suitable for most cards uh, and, and just beautiful paper. And, and I have been using this quite a bit. And I can tell you that um, I haven't even made a dent in this pack of paper. Uh, so I maybe have to, we'll maybe make some treat bags or something, I don't know, for Valentine's or, or Easter or something like that because uh, it's going to take a while to use all this paper, but it's great. All right. So, um, let's go ahead. I am going to do some stamping. I did some pre-stamping and die cutting just to kind of reduce the time down. I like to stay within a half an hour on my videos. Um, but for this card, I have an 11 inch by four and a quarter inch card base, and I have it scored here at five and a half inches. Uh, and this is in pumpkin pie. And then I basically have two, um, two DSP panels from the Dandy Designs uh, DSP pack. And um, all of the measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. But these uh, DSP panels measure five by three and three quarters. I have two of those that are the same size. And then I have two white cardstock panels. And those measure uh, four and three quarters by three and a half, and I have two of those. Just set this aside here for a second, and we are going to do some stamping. I am going to create um, kind of a background of oranges. And so let me grab my outline stamp here. So in this stamp set, um, there is an outline stamp. Um, which cuts out like a whole lemon and then a slice and a half, half a lemon or orange or whatever, and then a half a slice. And then we have the stamp that does the fill on just the, these three pieces. 
uh, because I wanted to make my fruit oranges. So this stamp set, I've seen people make oranges, lemons, limes, pink grapefruit, and I've even seen people create coconuts uh, with this stamp set using kind of this image. Um, so depending on the colors you're stamping. But anyway, mine is uh, oranges today. And I did a little bit of surgery on my stamp set. So this lemon was attached to these pieces. And I took my paper snips and I cut that lemon off so that I could stamp my background panel here. Um, and it is fine because when I go to, um, you know, need this lemon, I'm gonna be able to grab a bigger stamp block and, and put these pieces back together again. So, you know, you maybe don't always wanna do that with your stamps, but for this one, it, it'll it be fine if I need that lemon and I need it all grouped together uh, because this image does, in fact, fit in the embossing folder uh, to cut out. So um, you just wanna make sure you leave the little tabs, uh, you know, and, and I've kind of left them on here so that I can line this up again easily on a stamp block. All right, um, so I am going to stamp a background and I am going to stamp the outline image in Mango Melody ink. And then I'm gonna come back and do the fill image uh, in second generation stamping. So we'll go ahead and get this inked up. And I'm just, you know, just placing this wherever I hear one of the dogs woke up. Boy, last week they were um, they were a mess and a half when I was doing my video. They were carrying on. They saw a strange vehicle. So hopefully we don't have that today. <laughs> hopefully they're going to be good girls. And so I am looking to kind of just evenly place um, these outline stamps. Um, you know, trying to get an equal distance between the stamping. And then I can just come back in and kind of, what kind of have multiples of that one. Let me do this. Um, let's stamp one there. And let's get uh, another maybe. Do I want to do that? Because I've got two circles kind of lined up here back to back, but that's all right. Let's do there. All right, so that is my outline. And let me just clean my stamp off here real quick. And this is my filler stamp that I will need. But I only have one of these large blocks, so I need to quickly clean it off. All right, peel this one off. There we go. On, on kind of large stamps, um, especially with the photopolymer, I find that it's helpful to lay these down on a flat surface and kind of let that stamp relax. Um, otherwise, you, you know, you may get it off kilter. Um, but I am going to do my best here to, um, I'm going to ink this up. I'm going to stamp it off onto my scratch paper. And then I am going to, let me see here, figure out <laughs> how, um, get it turned around the right way. Goodness gracious. Well, I'm not having any luck here getting this lined up. Now I know that that big image is in there. There it is. There it is. All right, and I'm gonna line this up the best that I can. And that is second generation stamping. Oh, Faith, it's actually not so intimidating once you get started. I had trouble lining that image up though. Uh, let me see here, before I stamp off here again, let me see how I need to line this up. That is funny, I'm having trouble here. How did I get that lined up? Well, this might be quite interesting, guys. 
that's not that way. It's and it's not that way. No. <laughs> I know I have it some somehow. There we go. There it is. Okay. Phew. All right. And I'm going to re-ink and make sure you get good coverage. And I'm going to stamp off and go ahead and line this up as best I can. There we go. And then these two images, I should be able, let me see here. So it gets a little tricky, right, when you're down to, um, yeah, so that, no, there it is, okay. I just, I'm just gonna ink up these two pieces of fruit, stamp off, and line that up as best I can. There we go. But isn't that pretty? It really is a pretty, pretty image. And then there's my second one. So I'm going to ink up just those two slices of fruit. Again, these two. Stamp off. And line these up. So, you know, in this way, you can create your own, um, you know, kind of your own DSP panel. It's quite pretty. Um, and, and again, you know, oranges, uh, lemons, limes, pink grapefruit, uh, whatever you'd like to stamp. And while I have this out, I'm going to go ahead and stamp my inside panel and my envelope front. And for that, I am uh, just going to use the full orange slice. And I'm just going to slip that over my ink pad and I'm able to just ink up that particular uh, section of fruit. I'm going to stamp off. And yes, I am stamping this the fill first. Um, it, this is, is an easy set to line up. Um, so you don't need to worry about, you know, trying to finagle it. It's actually quite easy. And stamp off. And this is my envelope front. And we'll stamp that there. Okay, and then uh, let me clean my stamp off once again. I need to come back with the outline image once more. And again, I'm going to lay that image down on a flat surface just to make sure it doesn't get stretched out. And we're good. And I am going to just ink up the full slice, and we are going to go full strength um, with that image. And you can see how easy that is uh, with photopolymer stamps. You can see through uh, the stamps, which helps you line everything up. And again, this is a very easy stamp to line up. It's no problem whatsoever. Okay, there we go. And before I um, put my Mango Melody ink out away, uh, I am going to stamp uh, my sentiment for the front of the car and the inside panel. Um, hey, Akiko. Oh, thanks so much. Um, it, it, these, these dies are very realistic. They really are, or, or the stamps rather. So my sentiment label measures two and um, two and three quarters by one and one quarter inches. And again, all these measurements will be on my blog tomorrow. Uh, but for the outside of the car, um, for the outside of the card, for the sentiment label, um, it's making your mouth water. That's funny, Mary. I know I love, I love fresh oranges. Um, so the sentiment for the outside is sending you a big squeeze, and I'm going to stamp that in Mango Melody ink uh, onto my sentiment label here. And I'm just going to try to get that centered as best I can. And again, photopolymer, you can see through, so it's very easy 
uh, to line that up. So we've got our sentiment label done. Don't let me forget to put it on. Oh, I'm good for that. I did that last week. All right. And then our inside sentiment is have a zesty birthday. So I thought that was really fun and cheerful. Uh, I love the sentiments in this set. Again, in Mango Melody. And I'm going to just pull this panel a little closer to me. And we're going to stamp it up here towards the top. Just like that. Okay, perfect. And these, these stamps stamp beautifully. They really, really do. Okay. Um, so that is, let me see, that's pretty much all of the stamping. Um, so what I did, I can take this paper away now. Whoops. I need to put some more, stick them on my little sign here. Um, so what I did for this outer panel is um, I pre-marked it. I turned it over onto the back side and I marked approximately one and three-eighths inches up on each side. I don't know if you can see that on the back of the panel, but that is just to help me uh, make sure that my twine that I'm going to wrap around this panel is lined up. Uh, and I am going to use just a little bit of stamp and seal on the back of this panel. This is the stamp panel. And let me make sure I've got enough there. Looks like I do. And then I have cut a piece of twine. And let me see here. This measures just a little over 12 inches. And I am going to put that twine right on that pencil mark that I made on the back of the card. Let me put a bigger tail out there. Alrighty. And I'm just going to wrap this around twice. And then when I, so when I come around, I'm just going to shoot for that pencil line and come around one more time. And just make sure my ends are stuck down good. And then that way I know that this is straight on my panel front. We can go ahead and um, take our card base and I am going to glue this DSP panel up and adhere it to the front of the card base. Um, so this card was designed for the Happy Ink and Thursday blog hop, which is tomorrow. Uh, so if you get a chance, be sure to stop by the hop uh, and check out all of my team members' um, beautiful creations. We, the Ink and Crew, they, there's some very talented uh, ladies. Um, we have some gentlemen too, uh, but for the hop, it's all ladies. Um, so be sure you check the hop out. Uh, just some really great uh, inspiration every every Thursday. All right, so I adhered that panel. We have a sketch challenge tomorrow for the hop. And so I've adhered this panel um, at an angle. And then I am going to use Stampin' Dimensionals on the back of my stamp panel. And uh, I'll try not to lay down too, too many. I'm good for using lots of dimensionals. So I cut my dimensionals in half. Uh, it helps conserve them. Uh, it also helps to fit dimensionals maybe in tight spaces. And sometimes the dimensional backs want to stick. Um, and and I, I tend to use a lot of dimensionals. I don't know why. I just want to make sure I don't have anything sagging, you know, in the center. I think that's probably why I do it. But um, let's get one more down there. And get rid of that stray cover. Yeah, I don't know why <laughs> I have the worst luck with the backing sticking. And I'm not sure why that happens. I'm going to put one right there. And then we can take all these covers off. I'm just making sure they're stuck down. And we will adhere this to our uh, card room. So uh, if you happen to catch my... Um, yeah, they are the best. I know I like half dimensionals, Mary. Mary's the one that got me using half dimensionals. And it was a it was a good idea. Um, so on my blog today, I, at the very bottom of my blog, I wrote about uh, my 
husband got me a bird feeder for Christmas. It is a window mounted bird feeder uh, with suction cups and it's a really nice one. It's got a nice little roof to protect the seed and from rain and protect the birds and all that. Uh, and so the only visitors that have found it so far uh, are a male and female house finch. Um, and they're pretty, you know, the male is has red on his breast and back and head. Um, the, the female's just kind of brown with some stripes. Um, I am going to adhere this stamped panel. I'm trying to line it up as straight as I can. Uh, top to bottom and left to right. And I'm going to just gently lay that and pick it up and make sure I think that's fairly straight. I think as best as my eyeballs can tell that panel is straight top to bottom and left to right okay um, what next here so I did pre-cut so let me finish my story real quick here um, so we just have a shear in this big window in front of my work desk right there's just a shear in the window and um, so I, I wanted to be able to pull that shear back and, you know, be able to see the birds up close and personal, right? That was the whole idea of getting the window bird feeder. Well, the birds are shy. Every time I try to pull the curtain back, they fly away. I've tried leaving the curtain open, they'll fly up. As soon as they see me, they fly away. Uh, so, yeah. Hmm. <laughs> so I'm kind of viewing the birds uh, through a veil, if you will. Then I posted a picture on my blog. I'm going to apply just a little bit of liquid glue um, to the, the full slice of orange here. And uh, I can see in my sample card, I kind of, I had this piece turned this way. I'm going to turn it this way this time. And I'm going to adhere these together. Uh, just because I kind of like working with a unit. And these are going to get adhered uh, to my card front above the twine and about center in the card. Uh, and I am going to just adhere these down um, with liquid, with liquid glue. Alright. But I'm going to show you something here in just a moment. So I don't know if you can see, you can you see all the texture uh, on those orange slices? So all that texture, some of it is the stamp, but then uh, the rest of the texture is uh, from the hybrid embossing folder. And I'll show you, I'll give you a peek of that here in just a second. Let me get these laid down. And I am going to, before this glue sets, I am going to go ahead and tuck in my leaves I pre-stamp these garden green cardstock um, and I stamp them in garden green ink and I'm going to just tuck that one there but I do want to show you this how, how the texture came to be on those orange slices but I sometimes I get to talk and then my videos run a little over so I wanted to uh, you know I just wanted to make sure that uh, I could get, get my card done. And let me grab my sentiment label and just make sure I'm not going to cover up my leaves. So they need to be a little bit higher right there. Get that glue out of the way. And let me cap this and let me show you quickly. Um, so what I did to get these orange slices, and there's another one, right? There's three. Um, what I did was I stamped the images, used the outline stamp and the filler stamp on a piece of white cardstock. Um, and then I took the largest die from the Sweet Citrus die set and the hybrid embossing folder. And what I did was, um, boy, my brain really, really, doesn't want to function today at all. I am having a heck of a time. All right, is that it? That's it, okay. So this, no, that, yes, that is it, okay. 
if you saw me sliding that around, this die just slips, slipped in and, and fits inside this embossing folder. And then I took my stamped panel and I put it in here. I very carefully closed it, right? And I made sure I had a piece of cardstock from the stamp panel hanging over. And I just kind of, you know, move that around until I had, um, until I have the images lined up, you know, and you want to make sure that that die does not slip while you're doing that. Um, but, uh, anyway, that, that's how you're able to emboss and die cut those images at the same time. So really cool. I love when Stampin' Up! does that. Uh, and gives us these hybrid embossing folders. Just a lot of fun. Yeah, the birds will come back, but they are extremely shy. I've, I've been uh, trying to get them used to me for about a week now at Kiko, and I'm going to keep trying. I know it just takes some time, uh, but they are just too funny. They are too funny. So I'm kind of looking, and I want my sentiment label to hang off the side here. And I am going to center it over this little piece of twine. I'm actually covering up most of the twine, but I like just a little bit of it peeking through. Uh, and so, um, what I think I'm going to do is, I'm going to flip this over, and I am going to, uh, I will need a double stack of dimensionals on the right side of the sentiment label. Uh, because I adhere this panel with dimensionals, when I adhere the sentiment label with dimensionals, there's going to be a single layer where it contacts the panel. But I will need a double layer of dimensionals, a double stack of dimensionals here on just the right side of my sentiment label. So let me go ahead. And again, the paper is sticking. This drives me absolutely crazy. I wish it wouldn't do that. But I am going to just try and get those pretty close to the edge without sticking over. And of course it's sticking over. Let me fix that real quick. How are we doing on time? Yeah, I'm going to run over again. Boy, I think I talk too much. <laughs> Sorry, guys. All right. Well, let me see if I can pry this off without it. So I need to remove that cover. But we're almost done here. I'll try to focus. See, I get to tell them stories. And, uh, <laughs> and then I start running over on time. But I appreciate you guys hanging with me. Truly. Oh, so, back to the birds real quick. A cardinal showed up this morning, a male cardinal. He didn't stay long, though, because one of the finches was there feeding. And, uh... And so the cardinal spooked the finch, and the finch spooked the cardinal, so they both flew off. So he didn't even get a taste of the of the yummy treats, but uh, I'm sure he'll be back. So that was exciting. I love seeing those cardinals, especially the males. So I'm going to put some dimensionals directly onto uh, my card front. And I believe I should be good there. Let me just double check. Yeah, I'll be fine there. Um, but it's just easier um, to do that and know that uh, know that everything will be stuck down good and I've got everything positioned good. And let's do one more down here. And we're about ready here to stick this down. Oh, you don't have cardinals, Faith. Oh, they are so beautiful. They are so beautiful. If you're on, you're on Facebook, um, I, I will have to get the name of the lady's channel. But she does these nature walks kind of out in a marshy, marshy area. And, um, and it's called the Hand of Snacks. And she gets birds to eat right out of her hands. And um, it... it and she, she does kind of slow motion video. She slows it down so you can get a good look at the birds. And she gets titmice and woodpeckers and, um, gosh, nuthatches and cardinals and chickadees, black-capped chickadees. I mean, it's just so cool to watch. I just love watching her videos on Facebook. 
All right, I am going to attempt to line the sentiment up, center it over my twine. And let me see if I got that straight. That looks pretty good. Okay, very good. We don't have too much more here to do. Let me move this out of the way. Um, so for the inside of the card, I thought it would be fun um, to um, mimic the front of the card with the kind of the cockeyed piece of DSP. Um, and, you know, again, the same measurements. So I'm going to go ahead and put this down, make sure I'm working correctly here. And I'm just going to put this down um, kind of the same way I did on the front of the card. This is a very tone on tone card, um, but I like it. And then we'll go ahead and glue this down and then we can finish off our envelope and we will be done. So if you are in need of a demonstrator, I would love to have you join my team. Um, right now, Stampin' Up! has a phenomenal join special going on. Uh, you can catch all of the details on my blog, um, inkybstampers.com. I uh, would love to have you join my team. And, you know, right now, for $129 or $99, there's three joining options. Uh, you can join uh, for the $129 option, you could get one of the two uh, colored Stampin' Minis, or Stampin' Cut and Embosses, sorry, uh, Mini, or um, for nine, and $175 in product, or for $99, uh, you can get a starter kit for, uh, you know, $99 and $175 in product. So that is like an amazing deal. It's one of the best deals um, that I have seen so far with Stampin' Up. And now I'm looking to see, it looks like perhaps I do not have my piece of DSP for my envelope. Let me get my glue here. If you guys need to jump up, I understand. I'm going to go ahead and put some embellishments here on the front of my card. Um, and I went with a brush brass butterflies. I thought they would be perfect for blooming citrus fruit. I don't know. Do butterflies like, um, oh, that one lost its sticky. I don't know. Do butterflies like, um, citrus blooms? I think I'm going to put one right there. And let me put one on the sentiment label. And I get one of these little, little tiny ones. And we'll put him, hmm, let's put him right there. All right. And let me just grab my trimmer and DSP here real quick. And I'll put a piece of for the envelope if I have. I don't think I have any pieces wide enough, of course. Let me see if I have. Sorry about that, guys. So I get to use more of this paper up. That's good. I'm telling you. I'm going to have to make a lot of goodie bags or something. So for the env envelope flaps, I usually trim six inches by two and a half inches from the DSP, and that seems to work out good. Turn her out of the way here. And we'll get this glued on and trimmed up, and we are good to go. So yesterday was kind of chilly, kind of raw feeling outside. My arthritis was... Ugh, not loving it, that's for sure. And today, we are sunny and 54 degrees with a light breeze. And it is just lovely outside. Just, I had the dogs out earlier and they were just sunbathing on the deck. They were loving it. Okay. Give 
give that a good press down. Oh, you know what? I forgot to stamp my leaves on the envelope. Ah. I always forget something. And just quickly trim around our envelope flap here. There we go. Uh, let me pull the stamp set out since I forgot. I forgot the leaves. Let's we'll see if we can carefully stamp these. I have the leaves stamped in garden green. Oh, and I should mention the fruit on the front of the card. The outline was stamped in pumpkin pie, a shade darker than I did for the background panel. And I am just going to, let me see here. There we go. And let's stamp some leaves on the inside of the card. Then we're done. Ah, uh, that is gonna run into my uh, DSP panel. So I'm just going to take my scrap paper and just edge it up there so I don't stamp on my DSP. There we go. Perfect. All right. Thank goodness for scrap paper, right? So that is, um, that is the card for today. I hope you enjoy it. Um, I think it's it's cheerful, definitely a good birthday card, a good thinking of you card, um, whatever you may need. It may not be, it might be a little too cheerful for a sympathy card, but um, definitely birthday thinking of you, good luck, and congratulations, uh, whatever the case may be. Thank you so much for joining me today. Uh, everybody have a wonderful day and uh, Thank you very much, Barbara. Appreciate it. Thank you, Mary. Um, we'll see you next week. Thanks so much and take care. Bye-bye.